Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Lenny Ladner reporting from Toma, Wisconsin. And by the way, Obama, if you want to send a drone my way and kill me, I'll be running 9094 to Stoughton, Wisconsin, or I'll pick it up later. Personally, I don't think you people have the balls to do it. I really don't. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about immigration. And I want to talk about a cheap, criminal, Republican, excuse me, Republican politician. Let's see if I get this camera better. Republican politician from my state of Tennessee. His name is Bob Corker. Okay, Bob Corker was elected the first time in 2006. What's Bob Corker's background? Well, let me do it this way. Bob Cork is making all of these statements with this immigration bill, which should be voted down because it's nothing more than an increase in the size, the cost, the reach and power of the government. But Bob Corker is being forced to say what he's saying. Why? Because Bob Cork is a criminal. Bob Cork has committed crimes. You and I don't know what the crimes are, but you know what? The Rockefellers and the rest of the collectivist elitist scum establishment that runs the security operation in this country, the NSA and the CIA and the FBI, they damn well know. But let's look at Mr. Corker's background. In 2006, he ran for the first time for a statewide position in the U.S. Senate against another criminal politician, Harold Ford Jr., who is now a commentator for Fox. Harold Ford was another poverty pimp. But anyway, what did Bob Corker do before that? He served his conspiracy well as Mary Chattanooga and helped chase all the industry out. What else did he do? Ha. Huh. He was on the zoning commission where he could, he could, you can't get me for libel, Bobby, he could have committed the crime of extortion. Now, what really happened in 2012? Bob Corker won 87% of the Republic, Republican primary. Why? Because Tennessee has an open primary, meaning if you're a Democrat, you could vote in the Republican primary. The Democrats can essentially pick their candidate, which was Bob Corker. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not the Democrats. The communists could essentially pick their candidate, which was Bob Corker. So they had all the communists vote Republican, which is why he got 87 percent. Now, the guy that won the Democratic primary was the guy named Mark Clayton, who was a Ron Paul Democrat. Not a bad guy. And after he won the Democratic primary fair and square, the Democrat Party refused to support him, which means they were in cahoots with the Republicans. Now, I got to reach over to get this piece of paper. If you want to read about what I have to say about criminals and politics, go to Vote For, that's number four, VoteForLenny.com, hit the blog, and go to an entry, 51012, which is called Keeping the Pricks in Line with Bribery and Blackmail. And then go to another entry, 81112, which is about Mark Clayton. And then you can ask Mark Clayton why he didn't do what I told him to do, which is essentially go on record that if elected, he'd vote no on anything which increases the size, the cost, the reach, and power of the government. By the way, I ran for U.S. Senate in 2008 in the Democrat Party primary. And I'm putting out feelers right now where I may just decide to do it again in 2014. Because Lenny Ladner, as a Democrat, is a hell of a lot better than anything that the Republican Party of Tennessee could put up. Because you know what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to look at the bill and ask a question. Not who's going to pay me more. That's what Bob Corker and Lamar Alexander have been doing for years. But does this bill increase the size, the cost, the reach, the power of the government and vote no? Thanks a lot. If you like what I say, share it. If you don't like what I say... I'll try harder next time. Lenny Ladner signing out.